Hello everybody and welcome back to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get these corny and cool retro stylized VFX inside of DaVinci Resolve. We have both a free version and a paid version, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's included. Okay, to download the free pack that we're going to be using today, head over to the Cinepax website, go over to the free pack section, and find the retro VFX pack and download it. Once you have it downloaded, all you have to do is extract that zip file to wherever you want to on your computer, and from there we can get started. All right, so once you have those files downloaded, you gotta find the zip file that you extracted in your media tab over here, find wherever you stored it on your computer and drag it into your media pool here. All right, once you have those assets, we're all ready to go. So as you can see, there's three free assets included inside this pack, and I'm gonna show you how you can make this goofy little uh, sequence right here, uh, if it'll render, uh, with this Catman, uh, not Batman, it's Catman, and then just transition to this little retro area here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in our background here. Uh, fun thing about the background, you can actually hold down Alt and duplicate it, and then now you can loop it out and extend it for however long you need. Um, anyways, what we're gonna do is uh, let's spice things up. Let's change the color of this. So grab your background, go over to the color page, and if you find this hue slider right here under your control wheels, you can change the hue of it. So why don't we make it pink? And there we go. Now, that's a really quick and easy way to just extend the, the life of your assets here. So let's go ahead and find that image I told you about with uh, our dancing uh, cat person here. All right, so he's on a green screen, so that's gonna make things easy. So let me show you guys how you can green screen. We're gonna do a quick little overview of it here. Um, you can go way in depth on how to green screen inside DaVinci Resolve, but I'm gonna show you just an overview real quick. So click on the qualifier here, that's the little eyedropper tool here, and once you have this open, you're gonna click on this little button right here. And from there, you're able to select the green screen. So just click and drag. And after we do that, you'll see nothing happens. Well, if you click this button, it'll visualize your qualifier selection. So as you can see, there we go. We have a pretty good selection. However, it's inverted. So in order to invert it, you want to click this button and there you go. Now we've got a nice little selection of our cat dude here, um, but we want to clean this up a little bit. So let's zoom in. And first thing we're going to go, sorry. First thing we're going to do is click on the pre filter here, bring that up just a tad. Now, the biggest thing is we want to clean the black and white. So if we click this button, it'll show black and white here. And all we're going to do is let's clean up the black a little bit. So if you bring up the uh, black cleanup, it's going to get rid of the noise. And there we go. Although it's going to impact the border of our person. So you got to be aware of that. Um, and then also it can do the same thing for the white. So as you can see, it's going to extend out the white a little bit. Um, clipping and the black clip and the white clip that also does a similar sort of thing in terms of actually clipping the threshold of uh, what is considered black and white uh, but we're gonna leave it with how it is right now um, I'm gonna bring up the black clipping though a little bit because I could see a little white right here um, there we go all right perfect so if we turn this off uh, sorry uh, click on this button right there perfect now I can see we have a pretty good selection. We still have that rim though. So to eliminate that, I like to bring up the pre-filter a little bit more and then let's go into our second the our second tab here and this is going to be our um, morph uh, options here. And basically all the morph is gonna do is shrink it. So if I shrink my selection down and bring up the radius, as you can see, it's eating away along the edges of him. Um, we also have a little bit of a blur with the, the, the green here, but that's motion blur that's a little hard to get rid of and we're not going to mess with that um, as of today because that's a little bit more, more than this tutorial can handle. So let's go ahead and use this for the sake of our uh, tutorial on how we can bring him into our background now. So last thing we have to do, right click click add alpha output. What this is gonna do, if you drag and connect this, is gonna bring that selection that we just made into the timeline. Otherwise, it's not gonna show up. So, let's go over here, and as you can see, there he is. All right, perfect. So, now let's click on our transform tool here, and let's bring him up, drag him right here, and there he is. All right, perfect. Now let's go back to our free packs here, drag in a border here, and perfect. I like how that pink contrasts as well with the the background and there we go now we have our dancing cat man however if we hold down alt duplicate this clip on top of the border we can actually 
crop him. And um, I think I show, I'll show this a little bit later in the video. Um, but if we go into cropping, normally what I'd like to do is crop the bottom of him out so his head will stick out of the top of the frame. However, there's a glitch right now in the current version of DaVinci and it crops every single layer for some reason when we have a green screen effect applied. So instead, we're gonna go into the color page of this top layer here, click on our mask. Let's turn off this view real quick and we're just gonna make a square. And as you can see, that controls our selection of what is being green screen. So we're just gonna highlight the top of him, just like that. And just like that, we're done. And let's go ahead, let's add a little feather here. Perfect. All right, right there, perfect. Okay, and let's go back to our uh, edit page. And as you can see, if we play it through, now the top half of him is sticking out of the frame. It looks perfect. Okay, so that about sums it up for the free pack. The last thing that we can do is go ahead and add a transition, which is super easy. Just drag on top of your uh, footage here, center it a little bit, add your second piece of footage, which we'll add this one right here, play it through, and bam, we have a nice transition. We could probably line it up a little bit better though. Let's just right there right there there we go perfect all right play that through and now you guys have a cool sequence that you can mess with perfect i hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video with that said let's now look at the full pack which includes over 75 assets so as you can see uh we got a lot more stuff we got backgrounds we got borders uh motion elements a lot of cool stuff a lot more than just the two packs that are included in the free version so let me show you how i can recreate this funny goofy little scene right here in the timeline right now so anyways first thing we're going to start off with this cat man again uh because he's green screened and that makes it easy <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and keyed him just like I did in the first half of this video. Super rough again, but it will work for what we want to showcase. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's bring in a background here. So let's choose from the plethora of backgrounds that we have here. Uh, let's go for something really dizzying. We'll bring this one in. All right, perfect. And put him down there. And then let's go ahead and click on our little transform here. And let's pop him up and in the front of our clip again. And there we go, now he's dancing in this retro, uh, you know, disco tech place. Now the second, okay, so now let's go over to our borders here and I'll go into the second one here. We have a ton of different borders to choose from, but we will use this one right here. I like this. So we'll hold down Alt, duplicate it over a few times so it lasts longer, play it through, looking good. The one thing I wanna do is I wanna make his top half of his body stick out side of this frame. So let me show you how you can do that. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is let's position um, our uh, cat man here um, a little bit better because once we do this, we're gonna duplicate this. So we don't wanna move him after this fact. So let's put him right there. So now he overlaps with the border a lot better. Uh, right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm hold, hold down Alt, drag and duplicate this, and we'll put one layer of him on top of the frame. So by doing this, now we can just basically cut him in half and have this top frame stick out on top of this layer. So it should be as easy as going over to the cropping and just crop the bottom half of him. However, DaVinci sucks because it has a glitch right now. And if you're working on an older version of DaVinci, I read that this might not be happening. But anyways, uh, DaVinci, it, the cropping will some for some reason crop all the layers underneath it when we have a green screen effect applied. Lovely. So instead, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and just do it in the color page. So we'll come over here. We'll go over to our masks right here create a square mask we'll just drag it over extend it to cover the entire footage make sure that none of it overlaps and just put it right there perfect and actually if we turn off our uh, green screen view here you'll see that he actually as you can see this controls the overlap so put it right there our effect is done perfect all right so back to this and everything's looking good there we go, now we got an awesome dancing cat man, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this up. So next thing we're gonna do, let's trim these up and add a cool transition. So let's just grab one of these transitions here, uh, whichever one we want. I like this rainbow one, drag it in. Now what we're gonna do actually is I'm gonna show you how you can make this frame here, as you can see. So 
In order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually grab that frame, which is underneath the um, border elements, and we're gonna grab one with multiple people. So we'll go with this flower one right here. So we'll drag this into our footage here, and what I wanna do is I wanna be able to animate this so it zooms in dynamically. So to do that, we're gonna right click on it and create a compound clip. And we'll name this frame two because I already have a first frame. And then let's right click on it, open in timeline, perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is drag in a few clips. We have three in this case, and we're gonna drag them underneath this frame. So let's go over to our stock. Let's grab this guy, this girl, and another clip of this girl because we're running out of clips. <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead and just using the transforms, all we gotta do is just drag each of these people into place. So we'll put one here, grab our second one, put them right here, grab our last one, put them up in this corner. Perfect. And then if you ever needed to, you could go over to the cropping here and crop each side of these. That way they don't overlap with clips that they are nearby. However, that's not an issue here. So once we do that, we can go back to our timelines, go back to our main timeline. And as you can see, this is all compounded into one clip here, which is super nice to mess with because we don't have to mess with anything special or like have too many layers or anything. And I can go over to the dynamic zoom here, turn that on, and as you can see, it will automatically animate the whole thing so it zooms in uh, to, the, to the clip, which is super cool. So now it's animated. So there we go. That's how you do make a frame. Uh, the last thing that we're gonna do is let's add one more transition, why not? This time we'll use a motion element because uh, who cares? They're good enough to be, uh, be transitions too, you know? They deserve some love. There we go, perfect. Um, however, that one's not good to make a transition actually. So we'll just go with this one because they're not meant to be transitions, but they can be if we believe. All right, so we'll put that in and let's just transition to our final clip, which is just of everybody partying right here, which we'll just put right there. All right, so if we play this through, perfect. That works really well. All right, last thing we're gonna do is let's just take some of our motion elements and we're gonna just uh, find some of these sparks and stuff. And let me show you how you can kind of mess with these. These are super simple. I'm sure you kind of get the idea by now. You can just drag, move these right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep copying a few around and just make a barrage of them here. So as you can see, if we play this through, now we have some cool sparks and stuff and everybody's just kind of messing around and it looks good. However, you know, these are lame. These are just, these are just, you know, black and white. Like it looks pretty, it looks pretty, uh, you know, not professional because we're only professionals here. So let me show you how you can spice this up. Let's drag all of these, right click, create a new compound clip. That way we can apply effect to all of these at once and we don't have to do it individually, right? Then let's right click and turn it into a fusion clip. So since these are all one clip now, it's super easy to just click on this node right here, click shift space bar at the same time and type in glow. All right, and we're gonna go with either one, it doesn't really matter, but we're gonna go with uh, this glow right here, just glow and click add. And as you can see, it adds a cool glow to it. So if we go into our color scale here, we can actually adjust the color of the glow. And we're gonna make it more red and give it a little bit of blue. So, um, or take away some of the blue. So it's kind of orange. And I like that. So we can bring the glow up and mess with our values right there. And there we go. So now if we go back to the edit page, it is applied to all of the sparks and it looks a lot better than before. And let's finish the whole thing off by just dragging in one little transition, play it, and there we go. All right, so that is just a scratch on the surface of what you can create with this pack. We're super excited to see what other things you guys can make with these packs, and make sure to go check out other free packs and tutorials on the Cinepax website. If you guys do want to purchase this full pack, make sure to use the code SAMPLE15. That's going to give you 15% off your order and anything else in the Cinepax store. As usual, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great time editing. Bye, guys.